be a bad student here. Okay, so what I want to do is just kind of go back through again our variables. So if we're going to take the square root of a variable, ladies and gentlemen, we have to understand that the square root of x squared equals x. And when we kept on going up the list, we said the square root of x to the fourth, that was equal to the square root of x squared times x squared, which is equal to x times x, which equals x squared. So if I keep on doubling this, if I took the square root of x to the fourth, or to the eighth, that would equal x cubed. Okay? So that's just kind of going down the list. But one thing I want you guys to understand, let's kind of go back to this because we know we're taking the square root of to something to the fourth power. So we know our answer is going to be squared, but how are we going to take the square root of even this negative number, right? Because can we take the square root of negative numbers? No. But one thing we need to understand is we're not actually taking the square root of the negative number. All right, and I'll explain here in a second. So let's go back and look. If I said square root of x squared, we know that answer would be x. If I said the square root of 3x squared, that's just answer is equal to 3x. If I take the square root of 3 plus x squared, that just equals 3 plus x. So understand, ladies and gentlemen, since our taking the square root of our term, since the square root and the squaring, they undo each other. So we never end up actually having to take the square roots of what's inside our parentheses. So that's the same case with here. It's the square root of something to the fourth power. I'm never even going to even try to take the square root of negative 3 or the negative number. So my final answer is just going to be, what happens when we take the square root of something to the fourth power? The answer is squared. What happens if our answer is in parentheses? It's still just going to be in parentheses squared. So the final answer to this is negative 3c squared. Interesting.